In this video, I'm going to show you how we take a rotten rafter tail and fix it so that it'll last. When, so here's the end result. A lot of times if you just fix it with uh, some sort of putty or bondo, it'll pop right out. So here's how we avoid that. A few things you need is a wire brush. You'll need some sort of polyurethane type sealant. Um, you'll also need uh, some Vaseline. And then you're also going to need some bondo. So the first thing that we do is we take the rafter tail and we coat it with some sort of wood treatment, whatever you like. Uh, doesn't really matter which type that you use. Uh, well, actually, the first thing you do is you wire brush it. So here's just an, what it looked like beforehand. We just cleaned out all the loose stuff. You don't have to make it smooth. It's actually good to have some nooks and crannies. Then we put a coat of polyurethane uh, siding uh, sealant caulk on it. Um, that's not Bondo, that's a polyurethane sealant. Then we take the Bondo out, and uh, I, I'm putting the Bondo on top of the polyurethane uh, caulk right now. So the key is to get the polyurethane caulk spread out underneath all of the uh, places where the Bondo is going to adhere. Um, if you try to get the bondo to go straight on the rafter tail then the bondo will uh it'll when the wood expands and contracts with the different temperatures then the bondo will eventually just pop out so by putting the polyurethane caulk behind it uh, basically any kind of caulk that will adhere to the wood and to the bondo um, and then here is the what i do is i put vaseline on a form and then you'll see this is where I'm taking the Bondo and I'm putting it on the Vaseline coated form that I just created. Um, so back to the idea of the polyurethane caulk, uh, that will stretch. So any type of stretching caulk that will bond to um, the Bondo and to the wood is what you're looking for. So now I'm taking this Bondo and I'm putting it up towards the top since we're on a vertical plane and it's going to want to slide down. And that Vaseline is completely coating that wood so it's not going to stick to the wood. It's going to give me a nice flat surface. Um, and I'm just working it up into the corner as much as I can. It's kind of difficult to get it up there. Uh, and then we just set it in place. And it's good to give it some good taps so that the bondo will really spread out and flatten out. Very good. Then just screw it in place. Then, after it's in screwed in place, then this is what it looks like. You let it cure overnight uh, and then pop it off the next day. And when you pop it off, it'll look something like this. And then you just go ahead and grab your orbital sander, a little bit of hand sander. A bit, kind of in a rush, but, but there you go. Looks like a new rafter tail. It's going to last a long time because it has that extra layer of um, caulk behind it in order to keep it so that the temperature will make it so that the bondo doesn't pop out. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a comment.